Welcome to Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host from Vision 33. Today's agenda for Wednesday Web Chat is to uh, once again uh, be sharing with you another installment in our series about Crystal Reports Designer. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get directly into that today and uh, start talking about Crystal Reports and uh, with the goal of talking about the Crystal Reports Designer itself. So when we work in the Crystal Designer and uh, after we go through a short presentation, we'll be turning there directly to do our very first Crystal Report, a very simple customer list. And uh, But first, some basics before we get there. In the designer, as you'll see a screenshot of on um, our slide here, uh, you'll notice sections, right? Uh, the report header, page header, details, report footer, and page footer. Uh, each of these sections is indicated by a section boundary, these double lines, and they can be moved and adjusted for size and et cetera. They indicate the separation of the areas. They don't print on paper when you print the report. And you can move these bars, as I mentioned, to change the amount of space reserved for each one of the sections. You just click and drag that section divider to the desired position, and we'll be showing you that as well. The names of these five areas can also be shortened. Uh, it's in the View menu uh, that's available in Crystal Reports Designer to uh, RH, PhD, RFN, PF. So report header, page header, details, report footer, and page footer, right? You can set those in the design view area of the layouts tab in the options dialog box from the file menu. So very easy to locate. A little bit more information about each one of those sections and, and what they contain and what they're intended for uh, use in, in a report design. Uh, the report header is printed only on the first page. It's typically used for titles, the name of a report, the print date and the logo, uh, and charts or graphs that read from the entire report. So think of those charts or graphs as representing totals for the entire report itself. A page header is printed at the top of each page, used typically for column headings, uh, the print date perhaps, chapter name, page numbers, if that's where you want them. The details is really the what we call the body of the report. It's where all of the specifics are, and it's typically printed once for every record. So you can think of it as having multiple details.